Hey, welcome to checking out my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a video about my top 8 hidden gems on the Nintendo NES system. This list won't cover Famicom games, so I won't mention Koniko Monogatari. I also won't list any Sega Master System games, even though most people think they're basically the same system. Number 1 Battleship. This was a really original idea for a game. It's sort of like the movie, Mikhail's Navy, starring Kelsey Grammer, because you're in the Navy. So if you're a big fan of that movie like I am, then I think you'll really enjoy this game. It plays just like a real life naval battle, that you don't know where the enemy is and you have to guess their position. I don't really get why it asks you for a code though. I couldn't come up with any that worked. For anyone who might be interested, Activision actually released a sequel to this game for Xbox and PlayStation a few years ago. So check that out. Number 2 To color her a dinosaur. The game is sort of like an interactive coloring book. You have a lot of dinosaurs to choose from, although a pterodactyl isn't actually a dinosaur so it loses some points for accuracy. Another cool thing is that it has colors like polka dot, which is a crayon color you can't really find these days. It really is a game that can provide you with countless hours of entertainment, since you're only limited by your imagination and the 16 dinosaurs to choose from. I like to color a dinosaur because it's really relaxing. I like just watching the colors fill in. Pictionary. This is a really cool game because it has, lets you do stuff like draw in it, and it really is as easy to draw in this thing as it looks. You can definitely tell it was an inspiration for Mario Paints. Can you guess what I'm drawing? It's a person. This game has a variety of mini games, like in Mario Party. So that's another thing Mario ripped off about this. Like in this one, where you have to collect all the balls. My favorite is probably this one, where you have to dodge all the people. One major flaw in this game though, is you have to enter the, your name after every single minigame. I, I don't understand why I can't just remember it. Number four. Dance Aerobics Trademark. This was a revolutionary game for its use of professional voice acting in a time where it was standard to not have voice acting at all. That alone should make this game stand out in gaming history. Unfortunately, I don't have a power pad so I can't play this game. Number seven, five. Where's Waldo? Based off the popular 90s cartoon, Where's Waldo is different from the show in that you don't actually ever see Waldo. Ironically, Waldo is actually missing entirely from the game, outside of the cutscenes between stages. I love the graphics. In fact, they look like something right out of a picture book. The mission of the game is in every stage you have to find the secret square. This is a really unique idea for a game, which I haven't seen repeated since. It takes a lot of strategy to find the correct answer. Number 6 
Street Kid. The game has a massive cast with a rich storyline, rivaling that of any modern day RPG. The plot is some guy you never met died, and he had no friends, so he just gives you some money as an April Fool's joke to see if you can run on Wall Street. This game is a realistic Wall Street stock trading simulator, where you pick stocks to sell or trade. I found the best tip of the game is to talk to Connie, and you can bribe her to give you secret tips. I guess insider trading is how lots of Wall Street kids become rich, so I definitely recommend this strategy. There's also a cool exercise minigame. Castlevania. In this game you fight monsters like ghosts in a haunted house using a leather chain. I've heard this game is really tough, and I think they're right. Zool. really cool because it's got lots of satanic sort of themes, so it's pretty scary I wouldn't play it at night. At first I thought it was a card game like the Magic the Gathering card game or you go -Oh. But actually if you talk to the game, it can talk back to you I guess because the cartridge is possessed or something. Like the popular Milton Bradley game. They say this game is able to predict the future. I hope its predictions don't come true. Also, it can give you some Powerball lottery numbers. I tested it, and this part actually works. I don't need to do these videos anymore. <laughs>